Well guys, today I'm going to be trying to tackle some of this horrible fiberglass damage. Um, I have most of the pieces. And I just need to figure out how I'm going to brace this to try to fix it. Um, they do fit together decently well when you're trying to put it back together. The cracks do line back up somewhat. So I'm thinking if I can brace it together with something then I can fill in the crack with some resin just to get it holding, flip the hood over, sand it down, kind of cut into it, and then lay new fiberglass mat underneath. And then pretty much the surface stuff I can use um, Bondo glass which is a fiberglass reinforced body filler. Um, so I don't want it to be terribly heavy because it's supposed to be able to spring open when you turn the key which I think is just hilarious just what, what, what are you gonna put in here a bag of groceries I mean I don't even think you can fit your golf clubs in here uh, what are they putting in here you can't fit a cooler in here um, Whatever. I just, it's just hilarious. It has a little trunk. I mean, you're not going to drive to the airport, put your luggage in here or something, so I guess you could store extra golf cart parts in here like I've done. I've got all the pieces that I took off the golf cart inside the golf cart, so I won't lose it. That'll work. So I have, for the most part, that part. I have... This one, which is helpful. I can put the light back in. <laughs> and then obviously we have this one. This one has multiple brakes in it. Um, so I'm wondering, should I try to just cut this off? I mean, or should I just reinforce it from the back and then just layer new fiberglass? It'll make it exceptionally heavy, but it'll be strong again. I mean, I guess I could have it. I could always add extra springs to let the hood open. I mean, just a piece of wire. Can't be that bad. Oh my gosh, is that a freaking under the hood light? No, it's a fuse block, but still, that would have been hilarious if it had an under the hood light. I might just put one in here. But uh, at least I know where the fuse block is. Cool. Alright, this is what I came up with. I went to Walmart, I got some free painting sticks, and I have them clamped underneath the hood, supporting it. Also, where there was a low spot where the crack wouldn't line up underneath, I held it together and I heated up a glue stick, hot glue stick with a torch, and just kind of dabbed it there just to kind of stitch it together underneath. I can peel it off later because it's just on the outside of the gel coat. Then I ground into the crack. It's uh, actually decently deep. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut little squares of fiberglass mat and I'm going to lay them in there with some resin to make this all one piece again. And I'm only going to work till this point because I still have to work out all the different warped angles down here. So once this is solid, I can start tweaking on this a little bit. I might actually just break it off and reset it. Um, so it doesn't have to be, you know, half an inch thick or something. Anyway, my neighbors have a loud truck and wish me luck. All right, guys, I got a layer of fiberglass on here just in the main crack across this one piece. Once that sets up, I can pull this stick out and these two clamps and I can make something that bridges underneath here. Maybe I can just spot glue a piece of cardboard with some saran wrap on it so I can just pull it out later up underneath and then layer some new fiberglass on. I'll have to bevel in right here. And then, uh, yeah, this hood will be whole again. Sand her all down, add a little touch of filler here and there. Then I can unbolt the hood, flip it over, sand the whole bottom and add a couple big strips of fiberglass and resin them in and then it'll be right as rain might not be able to tell but 
I've got four layers of fiberglass in that one crack. Anyway, it smells bad in this garage now, thanks to the fiberglass resin, so I'm going to let this set up, and then uh, I guess we'll continue. Well, it may not look like much yet, but that's not coming off. I have the rest of it jigged up. I have a paint stick clamped up underneath, trying to hold this arc because it was really far down so it's just propping it up a little bit uh, as you can tell this curve is bent down really far from where they hit the tree and I've tried heating it I've tried just just forcing it back into shape this will not go back into shape so unfortunately this is gonna be kind of a a thick spot which uh, I really did not want and I originally wanted to take the hood off so I could work from underneath and it turns out you can't get the hood off yeah there's no room in here to get it off I can try to take the nuts off but they're Phillips head screws on the other side and I can't reach them uh, the only way to reach it would be to take this whole front panel off and it is bolted screwed panel bonded and siliconed in place so I'm gonna fix the hood with it still on yeah that sounds like the right thing to do anyway I'm gonna go ahead and start laying some fiberglass across here and in these areas just to try to get some rigidity out of it and then once that sets I'm gonna just start layering the crap out of it because I don't want to uh, I don't want to just throw one thick layer on there because then it'll get too hot and warp and uh, we're gonna have to do this uh, this area in stages and I have also jigged up this using this I guess you would call that just a, like a like an angled ruler or t-square or something um, yeah there's big section missing here I'm gonna have to grind into this later this didn't completely break off but all this needs to be built up and I have to rebuild the corner of the the light recession here so yeah lots of fun left to do lots more itching because my gosh I was scratching all damn night uh, doesn't matter how much you scrub you're still gonna itch so let's get started all right it's been about 30 minutes it's fairly hardened up all the way across even the mixing cup I tried to pull the brush out and it ripped the handle off all you have to do to clean it is flex the cup until you start seeing the product lifting from it. Ooh, damn. Get a nice air pocket underneath it, flex it, and then pull the whole thing out. So, gross. Well guys, it's been a couple days and the hood is done. Check out this. You can hardly even tell that anything has ever happened. Except for some small markings here and there. I'll call that acceptable. And not only do I not have very many thick spots in it, it still opens. This is what it looks like underneath there is one thick spot right here that was that one area that was bent down and I couldn't uh, I couldn't get it back into shape so I'm actually gonna take my belt sander and I'm gonna grind this down to make it the same thickness uniform I'm gonna get rid of that but it is fixed and I went ahead and painted this because I was bored and uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time which I think it looks pretty nice because originally this area was black also you guys are really gonna hate this but I redid the dashboard too look at this I even put 
real genuine imitation wood grain in the dash which I got off of Amazon you can buy it in a roll for about 11 bucks it's kinda like duct tape you can see that it has string in it but from a distance it looks pretty good I have a rubber band holding the steering column cover on because I don't have any screws and it didn't have any when I got it uh, they had bailing wire on it so I need to figure out what kind of screws I need and I need to go to Ace Hardware well anyway let me know what you think of my self-taught fiberglassing skills I think I did a pretty decent job and uh, I'm still really itchy. <laughs> that was not fun. I don't recommend trying that. Um, yeah. Looks pretty good. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Stay tuned if you liked the project. There will be more to come. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.